Well, Joe, the Danaher dynasty continues at Essendon. You made the decision to come here about a month ago now. What was the, the main reason behind the decision, considering you could have gone to Sydney with your father, Anthony, also playing over 100 games up there? Yeah, it was um, a tough decision. It took a, took a few months to make and I uh, had to get my head around things pretty quickly. Um, I mean, there was a lot of a lot of things that uh, added up to me coming here, and you know, with being home not too far away, and Darcy being here already, I couldn't help but uh, want to play for this great club. In terms of that, you've been here this week with the AIS, and uh, you've been training with the boys. What's it been like? Yeah, no, it's been very good to to get to know the guys a bit more, and I mean, I've met most of them before, but you know, to get to know their personalities and and the way that they go about things is uh, a great opportunity for me and a good head start on on things at the Essendon Football Club. Who's impressed you already? You've only been here a couple of days. Who are some of the guys you're already looking up to as a footballer? Uh, Scotty Gumbleton's probably one who uh, a similar sort of player to me and you know I idolise him a fair bit and um, but you know the Joe Watsons, the Brett Stans and these sort of guys are pretty amazing to watch on the track. Family of course is a big thing around football clubs. Uh, can you tell us what your old man said to you in terms of your coaching throughout your career and then also your brother Darcy since you decided to come and join him here at the Bombers? Yeah, Dad's um, been a great help for me in football. He's uh, shown me a lot of guidance but in that he's sort of uh, taken a step back and let me learn things the, the way I want to learn them and you know Darcy's been a huge influence on me and you know he's had three years now at the Essendon Football Club and you know I've just been able to watch him and see him grow and you know it's been a great experience for me. In terms of a footballer, you're listed as a ruckman forward. You're clearly very tall. Where do you like to play most? Um, wherever there's a spot, really. Um, up in the forward line, it's always great to kick a couple of goals. But, you know, as I'm getting taller and need to put on a few kilos, I'll probably find myself in the ruck and a bit in the forward line, hopefully. And Bomber Thompson and James Hurd are here. Bomber, of course, playing with, well, your old man and also your uncles. Um, what, what's been your first impressions of the great Bomber Thompson and James Hurd? Yeah, the, the face of the club's changed now that the, the boys have come back to Essendon. So it's, you know, really good to see play great stars of the club come back. And, you know, all the boys have been wrapped with, uh, with the way they've gone about things. And it's just so impressive to see them, how they, uh, you know, run the club and, and all that. Yeah, it's been good. Now all you've got to do is wait two years till you actually get a chance to really play. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the waiting game starts now and hopefully I can fast track a little bit of my development and when I come in in 2013, I'll uh, be able to get a kick. So, you know, it's a very fine opportunity to have and, you know, I can't wait to get into things. Well, Joe, on behalf of everyone at Essendon, welcome and good luck over the next couple of years and hopefully we see you debuting in uh, 2013. Beautiful. Thanks for having me. Cheers.